I'm giving the hot point a test in my room. I'm running my computer. Well, it's going to sleep right now, but I'm going to run my computer and uh, see if it's going to pull enough to pop the breaker. This thing is super quiet. Uh, whenever our air conditioning went out, I think in like 2021, uh, we got a couple of modern units. I think I had a 5,000 or 6,000 BTU in my room and that thing rattled. That thing was so noisy, no matter how much tape, no matter how much baffling I put in it, it would never stop making noise. And uh, this is on low right now, but it's running. You can barely hear the compressor. There's medium. And there's high. And that alone is quieter than the other one was on low. Here it is running on the outside. Just kind of checking around where I'm gonna need to uh, add some uh, weather seal and stuff. So right here, probably gonna need to do it there. Obviously the towels are temporary. I'm gonna get some uh, foam board. This one's, this unit's kind of cool because it draws air in from the bottom and these sides, rather than most modern units drawing it in from the top and the sides. So, um, and it also expels, you can see how the louvers kind of come at an angle and they change like direction like that because the coils wrap around the inside. And so it kind of expels, instead of expelling air just out the back, it expels the hot air kind of at an angle on either side. And yeah, once again, plastic means no rust. I'm gonna go to the hardware store and probably get some foam board. And I think I've got some weather stripping that'll work. I think I've got enough. All right, I got the styrofoam put in. Two pieces of half inch Pilot Pro. The reason why I went with half inch is because I'm gonna put another half inch layer on the inside here whenever I do the little wooden border on it the trimming, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but for now, this is sealed well enough and it's not towels. And so, yeah. we'll update here with the trim work on the hot point. Um, this is how far I've gotten with it. I've got the two side panels and the trim across the top and bottom. This is all birch quarter inch plywood. Um, I'm debating, I think I'm going to put a, uh, Another one that's like this width along the side on the edge, and I might end up doing it against the air conditioner. And of course, I'm gonna stain it to match. Uh, and then I'm gonna put a little suction on top too. I'm not gonna be fastening it to the wall or uh, the like air conditioner or anything. It should be able to just like sit there. Uh, that's my idea. So it's easy to, you know, if I ever need to, I can easily remove everything. All right, here it is nailed together. Obviously, I'm not going to stain it in here, but uh, the last thing I need to do is make a piece for the top. But I feel like that look a little nicer than it being like that. All right, here it is all complete. I ended up not gluing this top little piece of trim, uh, one by two red oak. It just sits up there just fine and uh, doesn't vibrate or anything. Most, if not all of this is scrap from when I worked at the lumber department in Lowe's. There'd be stuff that I'd cut on a panel saw for people and some people didn't want to take all of it home, whether their car was too small or didn't have enough space or whatever. So that's come in handy a few times having these extra scraps of wood lying around. I stained it with uh, dark walnut I think by Minwax. It's been pretty nice to have in my room uh, when I'm running my computer because it gets decently warm in here and I just didn't think uh, turning down the air conditioning for the whole house was really the most efficient way to deal with it because then you're cooling the whole house and I just really just need it in my room. But anyway, here, I'll run it on low. It's low for you. It's pretty quiet. Uh, now, one thing that did happen, and I think this is on me, is that these two panels were a little bit more faded than this one. And I put these, I ran these through the ultrasonic cleaner. I didn't run this one through because I got impatient and just cleaned it myself. And I kind of wish I hadn't done that. Now, it's not noticeable now because I put some back to black on them, uh, on all of them, and actually the rest of the unit I put back to black on. And it actually brought back a lot of that color. 
And uh, I don't know, these could have been more stained to begin with. I don't really remember, but now they look okay. Here is medium. Hi. And of course there's the ventilate feature. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Thank you for watching. It's all for now.